Hey guys, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh and this is Josh. Hi. Now, a lot of you guys know that FPV is a great way that a lot of people have gotten involved in this hobby. I know that I've had some of my best and most successful flights because of FPV. We've created definitely a lot of memories and also the inspirational tool that FPV has brought to the hobby is unmatched. The fact that people can put on goggles and they can experience flight from a bird's eye view, um, it, it connects people, it, it helps make memories, and also inspires people to learn more as well too. Yeah, but we seem to have hit uh, something of a roadblock that yeah. affects not only FPV, but just this whole hobby in general. Currently the FAA um, has made some uh, statements on what model aviation is. And what this has opened the door to is not only limiting or eliminating FPV, but also giving them grounds to regulate all model aviation from this point on. And that poses a big problem for us, but also to the great community out there that loves model aviation. Yeah, so explain like if somebody is into model aviation, but they don't necessarily do FPV, how, how does that how does affect, it affect them? them? Well, by making a rule on um, what FPV is or is not, um, currently the AMA uh, has done a wonderful job in, in communicating and being advocates for both us and safety of the people operating and the people that they're operating around. Um, what this would do would, would have the FAA now become a very big influencer on regulations directly imposed upon the people um, that are participating in model aviation. Uh, this will, by eliminating FPV or defining what model aviation is, they get, then get to define future rules of what model aviation can be. Right. That means kind of roadblocking the, the development of this technology, which is amazing. These past couple of years have brought more development um, and more safety, frankly, yeah. to this hobby than ever before. Now, it seems like a lot of this has stemmed from the fear of these FPV drones that yeah. are all out to get us. And, and I'll be honest with you, there have been a select remnant of uh, people that have made very foolish decisions yeah. with this technology, such as flying over crowded areas, flying by bridges, over landmarks that clearly should not be flown, uh, by full-scale aircraft. Um, invading privacy. Invading privacy, or at least trying to. Yeah. Um, let us be clear, uh, flight tests and also the model community has no problem with people that make foolish decisions put other people in danger of being prosecuted. Right. Where we draw the line is where they limit what this hobby can be and they regulate the hobby itself instead of punishing the people that make bad decisions. Um, I think that's truly how it should be. Matter of fact, the growth of this uh, technology within this hobby has been a direct result um, of equipping things like farmers checking their crops. Yeah. Um, also, uh, people searching for uh, lost children. This technology clearly has a very powerful benefit for life in general. Um, yeah. What it can do for people as far as on the inspirational level, but also on a, a community and physical level too. Right. Um, the idea that it can improve people's quality of life, improve their safety, improve a, a lot of different aspects of life. Yeah. If you took that away from the hobby, you're taking away the development of that technology. Yeah, it's not just impeding the hobby, but also just technological advances all around the world. Yeah, yeah, and, and those technological advances are needed nowadays, and, and America needs to be a leader of this technology, not a follower. And by limiting the rights that Americans have to pursue this technology, is gonna be the direct adverse of what we want. Right. So it's clear that we have a we have a problem. A very big problem. But there is a solution. We are all the solution by making our voices heard. And don't take that for granted too. Uh, don't assume that someone else is gonna make their voice heard. Keep it respectful, keep it informed, keep it kind, and keep it unique too. Don't just form letter and, and have everyone say the same thing. Uh, make sure that you're explaining what's right about the hobby, not just what they deem is wrong about the hobby, but also share what the hobby and how it has benefited you and, and where you see it going and how excited you are about that. Um, letting people know that you are educated, you're passionate about the hobby, but you want to conduct it in a safe, healthy manner. Yeah, instead of bashing so the FAA, uh, focus on what's so great about FPV that we want to keep it around. Yeah, and keep in mind, this directly trickles over to the rest of the hobby. So even yeah. if you're not a huge fan of FPV or it's not maybe what your interest is, um, keep in mind that, that speaking out and protecting the hobby in general is what we want to see happen here. So we have a link uh, below that will take you to an article on the Flight Test yeah. website where it'll take you to a few different links, change.org, which is a petition that you can sign. You can go to regulations.gov where you can actually leave a comment on the on yep. a specific issue. And also the FAA has a Facebook page where you can leave a respectful comment there and or what do they call it, a review or something. Yeah. Um, but you can make your voice heard on the yeah. FAA website. Respectful. Respect. Stay respectful. Common theme here. And also don't just pick one one of these things make your voice heard on all of them uh, make sure your voice is, is out there because frankly yeah. this hobby is not that big right we need and all the voices we can get a lot of people are counting on this uh, small hobby to be very silent and let this uh, movement go through yeah uh, but we do need to stop at where it is now and inform the public and also show people the benefits that can come from this right we can't film flight tests if we're in jail so don't just assume that everybody else is gonna let their voice be heard. Your specific voice is very valuable. And please pass this video on, let your friends and family know if they are not aware of what's going on that you enjoy this hobby with. Let them know and give them a call to action too to make their voices heard. 
as well. All right, thanks guys for watching. We'll see you next time. See you next time.